Hey y'all, my name is Lindsay, for those of y'all who don't know me, and my speaker presentation today will be over Tim Tebow. Just some background information before we get started. Tim Tebow was born August 14, 1987 in Makiti, Philippines. His parents were there as Baptist missionaries, and they had built a ministry and decided to stay there. He went to high school at Nice High School when his parents moved back to Florida. After that, he attended college at the University of Florida, where he excelled on the football field and was drafted by the Denver Broncos after college. He also decided he wanted to play baseball, so now he's a minor league outfielder in the New York Mets organization. And he is also currently a host on ESPN Game Day. Tim Tebow is known for quite a few things. What he's known for the most is how outspoken he is about his Christian faith. He also is known for starting the Tebowing, which is his practice of praying on the football field, which you can see on the left-hand side of the screen. He's also played for the Florida Gators, the Denver Broncos, the New York Jets, the New England Patriots, and the Philadelphia Eagles. And he is also a motivational speaker and an author. While Tim Tebow was at the University of Florida, he racked up quite a few awards, as you can see on the screen. That's him holding the Heisman Trophy. Um, some of the awards include a two-time BCS National Champion, two-time SEC Champion, two-time Player of the Year, two Manning Award recipient, two-time Maxwell Award, Heisman Trophy winner, Davey O'Brien Award, the AP Player of the Year, Sporting News Player of the Year, two-time First Team All-American, three-time Heisman Trophy finalist. He was also the first and only still to this day to be a three-time finalist and a trophy winner second-team All-American, and three-time first-team All-SEC. So before we talk about the social media and the platforms that he uses, we're going to talk about the app that he co-founded with Carrie Walsh Jennings and Titus. It's called Kindly, as you can see on the shirt, says Find Your Kind. The goal of the app is to make it harder for people to spread negative thoughts on social media, and in today's age, it's very easy to do that. It's meant to promote kindness and address mental health concerns. To use the app, you have to enter a credit card number and then donate $1 to charity. Um, it's not just one specific charity that the app is with. There's multiple charities you can choose from. The company says that they hope to reach 1 billion acts of kindness worldwide. So we're going to watch this video. Let's get serious because you are the founder of a new social app. It's called Kindly, I think. I think that's the correct pronunciation. And it's focused yes, on well, positivity. I'm, I'm just, I'm one of the, I'm one of the founders of it. I'm grateful to be part of the team. Um, and it's something that is so exciting to me because, um, honestly, there are so many different social media apps. Um, but I think this one's a little bit different because this is more of a social unity app where our goal is to be able to spread acts of kindness because we believe kindness is contagious, especially in a day and age where there's so much that um, divides people. But maybe this could be something that, you know, in the middle of everyone's day, if they just need to, to have a little joy and be cheered up a little bit, they can go to this app and they can see people, you know, um, serving acts of kindness all over the world. And our goal is to have over a billion acts of kindness and raise $1 billion for charity because it's free for anyone to sign up and have an account. But before you're allowed to post, you got to donate $1 to charity. And there's a list of charities on there and they donate $1 to charity and a hundred cents of that dollars go directly to the charity. We want to be super transparent with that. And so our goal is if you could imagine a billion acts of kindness, that's a billion different people being helped and a billion dollars going to charity. We think that's a pretty cool goal. That, that really is cool. I mean, I can, I actually downloaded the app just to kind of see what it was, and it's kind of like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter kind of all mesh together. You can make posts. You can just post pictures. It's really cool. Um, if it's something you're interested in, you should definitely download it and check it out. The next we'll talk about is his social media. I'm not going to go through them, but he does have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. He has 39 million followers on Facebook, 2.4 million on Instagram, and 4.6 million on Twitter. On his Facebook, you can shop his merchandise. He has links there. And on Twitter, his cover photo is the new book he'll be releasing. You can pre-order it now. So what I'm going to talk about, probably why I love Tim Tebow the most, is his book. His storytelling ability is absolutely amazing. I decided to read this book in high school, so about in 2015. 
He wrote it in 2011, and it's called Through My Eyes, and it was a best-selling novel. He tells the story of his life, his faith, and his career in football. Each chapter begins with a Bible verse that sets the stage for another snapshot of his life at that specific time. So whether it's when he was being born in the Philippines, or when he came to back to the U.S. in high school, uh, college, NFL, anything that leads up to important parts of his life, that's what is going to be in this book. It talks about how he went from being a miracle baby of missionary parents to a Heisman Trophy winning quarterback all the way to the NFL. Through the book, he doesn't hesitate to explain how his Christian faith serves as a cornerstone of all his activities both on and off the field. If this is something that you think you'd be interested in, I highly recommend this book. It's honestly probably one of my top favorite books, and I absolutely hate reading. I've probably read it like three or four times. It is definitely a good read. Recently, he has become a motivational speaker, speaking all across the country. I looked up to see how much his fee was, and it's 50000 to 100000 The prices range depending on the size of the venue, how many people will be there. Um, I thought that was kind of a lot, but I actually Googled other people, and he's probably one of the least expensive out of a lot of like known speakers. And now, due to COVID, they have a virtual fee that is slightly less. It comes in at about 30000 Still a lot, but it's a little bit less than fifty. So each speaking event he goes to is completely customizable. He has never failed to deliver a message that would be perfect for every member of the audience. I, for one, listen to his speeches quite often. He has multiple ones out there. You can just go to YouTube, type in Tim Tebow speeches, and a lot of them will pop up. Some of them we will be from press conferences when he played football at Florida. Some of the topics he has spoken on include pursuing your dreams, what happens when you get knocked down, finishing strong, being successful at what actually matters. So if you like Tim Tebow and you think you'd like his speeches, you should definitely watch those too. So we're going to talk about probably my all-time favorite Tim Tebow speech that there is. So if you know sports and love sports as much as I do, you know that many players wear eye black with Bible verses or saying that's important to them. Normally he wore Philippians 4.13, which is what he became known for. But when he was running out of the tunnel for the SEC championship game, he decided to change the verse. He decided to change it to John 3.16. And John 3.16 may be the best known verse in the Bible, but it's also the subject of such an amazing story told by Tim Tebow. So we're going to listen to that. To win, and two days later, I was at Ballyhoo Restaurant in Gainesville, Florida, with me, my mom, my dad, my aunt, and um, Coach Meyer. And Coach Meyer gets a call, and he's like, "Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh." All right, bye. And I was like, "Who is that?" He said, "That was Steve McLean. He was our PR guy in Florida." So what do you have to say? He said, "Did you know that during that game, 94 million people Google John 3:16?" And honestly, my first thought was, how the heck do 94 million people not know John 3.16? <laughs> Hashtag Sunday School. It's like the first thing you hear, you know? <laughs> but I was just sitting in Valley Restaurant, just so humbled at how big the God is that we serve and how he wants to do amazing things in us and through us. And when we just step out and show a little faith or a little courage or we just decide, hey, it's okay to be a little bit different than everybody else, what God can do in our lives. And that game just happened to be in 2009, January 8th. Well, exactly three years later, January 8th, 2012, we just happened to be playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I never even thought about John 3.16 one time, so I can't take any credit for it. I just tried to go out there and win a playoff game, and we were blessed to win this crazy playoff game in overtime. And... I run in and try to, you know, shower really quick and change because I wanted to go celebrate with my family. So I'm going, running to go and do my press conference really quick. And uh, right before I walk into the press conference room, Patrick, our PR guy, jumps in front of me. He says, Timmy, do you realize what happened? I was like, yeah, we just beat the Steelers. We're going to play the Patriots. Like, let me do this. He's like, no, do you realize what happened? I was like, I guess not. He said, Timmy, it's exactly three three not three years from the night you wore John 316 on your eyes. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And he was like, no, you don't realize. During the game, you threw for 316 yards. 
Your yards per completion were 31.6. Your yards per rush were 3.16. The ratings for the night were 31.6, and the time of possession was 31.06. And during the game, 90 million people Google John 316, and it's the number one trending thing on every platform. So like I said, that is my favorite speech. Um, if you have time to go watch the full video, I highly recommend it. You can click the link that is on this slide if you want to go watch that. And thank you. That is the end of my presentation.